Hey, what's going on guys? I've been asked by a few people to do um, a little tutorial on the round, round tripping from your editing software to Resolve. And uh, I'm going to do a little detailed video on this, okay? So it's not going to be a color grading tutorial. It's going to be specifically for the round tripping, okay? So this is your project uh, folder. This is your raw files. I'm going to show you how to convert those raw files into proxies. And we're going to do a um, complete round trip um, tour, okay? So let's go to the editing. We're going to click Control N and we're going to create a new timeline with all the files. Okay, and there we have it. So th these files are going to be exclusively for editor, for proxies, okay? So let's give them a little bit of the nicer look instead of signing just a log. So let's select Blackmagic since it's a Blackmagic camera and we're going to apply the same sort of look to all the files, okay? Depending on the project, you probably would want to burn uh, either a clip name or source time code, depending on the complexity. So let's do both. And um, as you can see, they're applied to every file automatically. Let's click on Deliver tab, and we're going to select over here in the render individual source clips. And in your codec, I like to work with DNxHD 1080p because it's just a little faster. Um, let's click on the file and we're going to select source name. It's very important. Okay, and now let's browse our location. And my location right now for the tutorial, right here. And let's go drop them into proxy. All right, let's click OK. And over here, right click, select all, add to render, and click start. Okay. So let's go to Adobe Premiere and we're going to create a new bin or a new folder and we're going to call this proxy. Okay. In the proxy, let's import all our files. Um, let's see. It is round trip proxy. Let's select that. Let's click open. Okay. Here's our files. So let's say you're editing your thing, whatever you're going to place them. So that's, that's your edit. Okay. You finished editing. You're going to click on save, saving the main project. And then you're going to go to the file, export. And I'm going to be working today with the EDL format. Let's click on EDL, um, EDL title, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's call it round trip and let's click OK. And let's save that round trip in the same folder as our project. Okay, click save. Back into DaVinci Resolve. Let's go into Edit tab and in Edit tab, let's click on File, Import, and let's select round trip EDL. Click OK, and there we have it. Here's our editing file, complete edit. Um, let's uncheck all the burn-in data, and let's really give it a nice quick color grading. Let's say, let's do, let's do a little Koji, a lot, just for the sake of a uh, of tutorial. Okay, so let's say we finish color grading. Let's go back to the delivery and over here I'm gonna select 10-bit DNx HD 1080. I'm gonna go to the advanced and I'm gonna do data level full and I'm gonna go back to location browse and I'm gonna put all my files into a graded folder. I'm gonna click OK same thing, right click, select all just in case. I'm going to close this, add to render, and we're going to start. Okay, we're done in Resolve. Let's go back to, to Premiere. And as you can see, we still have old uh, proxy files. So, easy way to fix this. We're going to select all the files. We're going to right click. We're going to make it offline. Okay. 
we have this media offline notification then we're gonna right click again and we're gonna click link media okay and over here in this new pop-up window click locate and select your graded folder and over here select display only exact name matches okay let's select one file and automatically all the clips going to be replaced with your graded footage and from this you can either send it to the visual effects or you can render from premiere or do any kind of modifications with the graded clips all right i hope this helps and thank you so much for watching bye bye